and Dean that I have gone through that has helped me and has also helped others. And I want to make sure that we are all supporting each other. And if it was kids. wrong, they find another way to justify why they did it. And they will do it in a way to manipulate you to side with them today. If right now, is. today, what I need you to do is focus on how I can validate my own damn self without me feeling like I need to find someone else to do that validation for me. Uh, that's yes. what yes, champion. When I say love yourself again, you may have never even explored it. It's very, very, very powerful is that there is no love without forgiveness and there is no forgiveness without love. You need to understand specifically. A hey, champs out there. This is Adaya Sheree. Today is Wednesday Wakeness. I cannot believe it is already Wednesday. I am so happy um, to see everyone. I know that this is um, my Wednesday Wakeness time to where I like to get in and just talk about some things that I know for sure. Look at my hair. Yo, look at, look at this. <laughs> um, to get in to talk about a couple things that I know people have been asking me about. Y'all know my Wednesday wakeness is really, really short. Y'all know that uh, when I'm mute to me, it's always bad table manners. I'm going to make sure I educate and help as many people as I can. So if you are just now tuning in, you want to make sure that you share this video because today we're going to be talking about and Wednesday wakeness is a shifted mindset versus a set mind a shifted mindset versus a set mind so let me give y'all some information on why I want to talk about this so I was thinking you know even in, and look at this look at my daughter put this on my head um, I was thinking just more of what is the difference between the two I want to help y'all to understand the difference between a shifted right a shifted mindset versus a set mind and I want you guys to pay attention to this because it's so important that you can understand what this stuff even means so let me just break it down so a shifted mindset when you think about the word shift that is movement meaning that you're continuously moving you're always changing right there's always some type of transition Keep in mind, there's always a change and then there's always transition, meaning that you're always moving. And when you understand about a shifted mind or the word shift, shift means that you're moving a little bit more. Now, right? So keep in mind, shifted mindset is change, movement, transition, anything that revolves around change. That's a shifted mindset. And I'm going to tell you why I'm talking about this. And then the other one is obviously a set mind. A set mind. When you think about set, even when you think about the word set, set still, sit still, you're not going anywhere. There's no movement. There's no change. Everything is exactly how it is. Now think about your mind being like this. Think about your mind in this area, meaning that is my mind shifting or is my mind in a set stage? A set mind, is my mind constantly moving or is it still in that content stage? And here's the word. Here's the word I want you guys to understand between a shifted mindset versus a set mind. Comfortable. I want you to let that sit in for a little bit. The word comfortable. When you think about the word comfortable, you like to be in that state. You like to sit there. Now, here's how the mind works. Even though your body, right, even though your body may want to change, your mind may be still comfortable. And it may still be in a set mind. Your mind and body sometimes do not operate together. But you want to know what operates the body is the mind. So if your mind is in a comfortable state, it is going to sit there. It is a set mind. 
Now, let's say that, hey, I want to change myself, I want to change my environment, then it needs to be a shift, right? That means that no longer would it be comfortable, it now has to be uncomfortable. Because when you think about the word comfortable, you don't have any change. Now, whether that change is good or bad, right and i'm going to tell you about the word comfortable comfortable does not mean it's good all the time you can be in the most dire situation ever and still be okay with being in that comfortable state now that doesn't mean that you want to you ha don't have a desire to change it you just don't know how to do it now that comes with your mind shifting and i want you to understand between the two do you have and here's the the question for you do you have a shifted mind? Is your mind changing out of your current situation? Or is your mind in a set? Do you still have a set mind? Now, here's the reason why I want to talk about this. Here's the reason why I want to talk about this. Money. Money is one. Money is one. Specifically, people have this um, scarcity around money. I used to have it all the time. I used to have scarcity around money all the time the time and we're going to talk about money and finances so my boy joe posted on there about he wanted to talk about understanding how people need to change their mindset and stop depending on other people now that is a good point and the reason why i want to talk about that is because when i even go back to my example of my class my fear and shame class that class is worth what five i think like five thousand dollars but we broke it down to make it super easy and affordable to $97. And then we went down even further to make it even more affordable to $20. So however your mind is programmed is how, however you're going to look at those numbers. I can break that down, that class down even more to $1. If your mind is still at a set mindset of that you don't want to spend money to change yourself you're gonna forever be chasing something that will never happen now the reason why I wanted to say that is because I know there's a lot of scarcity around money do you have a set mind around money is that I'm not willing to spend money to get the things that I want and to change my environment or am I gonna wait on someone else to do it for me I said this yesterday and I'm going to say it again whatever you're waiting on it's not gonna come <laughs> it's just not gonna come it's not gonna happen the reason why is because you are still in a your mind is still there right you still have a set mindset it ain't gonna happen so whatever it is that you're hoping to do such as lose weight such as learn how to create better finances for yourself such as getting out of that bad relationship or even learning how to be happy with you if you don't change your mindset meaning that if your mindset isn't shifting honey it ain't gonna happen it's not gonna happen it's not gonna change and that's the reason why it's so important that we understand the difference between a shifted mindset versus a set mind do you have a set mind right is your mind programmed to where I'm okay to be where I am even though I want to change now there's a difference between the two you have to shift your mind to get it on the same level as right as into the things that you want and you desire and those things are done unconsciously that's why it's so hard for some people to change to make a shift why is because for one people are comfortable with where they are you're comfortable with being broke you're comfortable with your business not taking off you're comfortable receiving some type of assistance or getting someone else to to do the work for you because you don't want to change nothing will change in your life champion until you make the shift okay nothing will change in your life until you make the shift today is Wednesday wakeness I really want you guys to understand that this is so important for you to get off your butt and have a shifted mindset shift your mind get out of that set set mind right get out of that set mind and focus on how to better yourself and better your life now going back into that fear and shame class I already let I already told y'all that there's so many people that I know need to take this class and they know that they need it but I ain't gonna ever <laughs> I ain't gonna force you to change that comes with you having a shifted mindset in your life 
if you want to change your life and change your circumstances around, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have fear of relationship. This could be about anything that you have fear around. You want to know why you haven't joined a class? It's because your, your mind is still in a set mindset and you're stuck. And that's the reason why. That is the reason why you are in the situation that you're in now. So if you want to change your mind, change your set change your mindset and you want to do all this then join on the other side and learn how to shift your mind and here's one thing I want to say before I get off very very quick when you understand about and I mentioned one right one was being comfortable my not my last one is choice we all have a choice when you have a shifted mindset, you have a choice. You realize that I can do whatever it is that I need to do regardless. I'm going to move some things around, right, to make this work for my life. As opposed to a set mindset, you feel like you are the victim or you feel like you have no choice. If you feel like you have no choice, oh, I can't do this, making every excuse, right? I can't do this because um, I got to do X, Y, and Z. Or I can't, every excuse. You want to know why? It's because your mindset is okay with being comfortable because you don't want to move into a change. If you want to change your life, change your mind, okay? If you want to change your life, change your mind. And you got to have a shifted mindset. I will tell you about the class um, just a little bit. It is going to be next Tuesday. If you look on the description, I don't know where it is on this screen. Um, you can click on the link. You can definitely join. Um, and we made it low as twenty. Get get going for twenty dollars. If you can't, if you feel like I can't come up with twenty dollars, and I'm gonna go to the store. And I'm going to buy whatever it is I need to online on Amazon or wherever it is, you still have a set mind. And I'm going to tell you that because if you know that you need to change something in your life and you know that this class is going to help you or whatever it is that you need to get to where you need to. And if you, and if you can't come up with $20 to get you started, you still have a set mind. So if you want to change your mind, right, if you want to change your mind, it needs to be shifted give yourself a choice and I know you have them you just feel like you don't gain your independence back and let's build together I love y'all I'm so happy to see a lot of you guys jumping in and out make sure you share this video I love going in on Wednesday wakeness one thing I will definitely say is that one thing that Joe and I will say this and I'm gonna put his information at the bottom he's really into this finance stuff and he's passionate about it and I wanted to talk about that a little bit because he mentions about changing your mindset so you don't depend on other people I will definitely repeat this again changing your mindset so you don't depend on other people if you are in this state of mind you still have a set mind so if you feel like you can't build wealth you can't start your own business get help Right. If you know that you don't have the tools and the resources, get help from people that know how to do it to get you to where you need to go. It took me some time. I can't tell you that right off the back. I started coaching and knowing stuff about fear and shame and knowing how to work, how to start a business. And, you know, I own two. I own two businesses. I can't tell you. I had to get help from things like that because it's so important that we focus on making sure that we get to where we need to be look at <laughs> jay said twenty dollars is a steal it is um but it's not even about that it's really about twenty dollars is a steal to people that want to have a shift have a shifted mind but it will be a million dollars you will put twenty dollars compared to a million dollars and people will look at twenty dollars as a million dollars and will still be stuck at where they were at the beginning so let's make sure that we have a shifted mindset and focus on learning how to take care of ourselves. I can't see I can't wait to see y'all in the class. Today is Wednesday Wakeness. Y'all take care and y'all be blessed.